IGCSE Biology, Syllabus Statement 224. Here we're recalling the sources and describing the functions of components of the diet. This is 224B, and in this part we're looking at the vitamins, the minerals, and these two components here. So let's start with vitamin A, C, and D. Now the function of vitamin A is to produce light sensitive pigments in our eye and that allows us to see in poor light conditions. The source of vitamin A are fish liver oils and liver itself. A deficiency disease caused by this is that we can't see well in dim light and this is known as night blindness. So we have reduced vision in uh, poor lighting conditions. Vitamin C, perhaps the, the best known of uh, the vitamins, this allows us to form what is called connective tissue. Now connective tissue helps cells to stick to each other. So perhaps we'd have a structure in the center here like this, and so the cells would stay together as a tissue. Vitamin C, of course, we get from the citrus fruits. Perhaps we're thinking here of something like an orange. And the deficiency disease is called scurvy and the uh, symptoms of scurvy are things like bleeding gums in and around the mouth. Vitamin D allows us to absorb calcium from our food, from our diet. So the presence of vitamin D allows me to absorb calcium from the food that I eat. The source of this, well, it can actually be manufactured if you spend time in sunshine, hence its name, the sunshine vitamin, or you can obtain it from fat, eggs, uh, and fish, I believe. And the disease which occurs if you don't have vitamin D is called rickets. Rickets is characterized by the bending of bones. If we move on to the second group, which are the minerals, the minerals we need to be aware of are calcium and iron. Now, calcium, we can obtain this from products, dairy products such as milk. And the function of calcium, of course, is in creating bone strength. And a lack of calcium results in rickets, again, where the bones bend. Iron. Iron we can find in food like liver and the well-known vegetable spinach, famous for Popeye eating its spinach and being strong and the function of iron is the synthesis to make the haemoglobin which we find in red blood cells and that carries oxygen. Now if you lack iron in your diet you cannot manufacture the haemoglobin and this results in a condition which is known as anemia. People with anemia symptomatically look pale and they get tired very quickly. The last two components of diet to consider are fibre. Now fibre is actually plant cell wall and you may recall that this means it's actually the carbohydrate 
cellulose. We get this, of course, from plants in our diet, and a lack of fiber would result in constipation. The actual role of fiber is to maintain peristalsis. Finally, let's consider water. The function of water is to create solutions. And in those solutions, we have the chemistry of life. Substances dissolve and substances react in the various biochemical processes. We can obtain water by drinking directly, or it may actually be inside the food that we're eating itself. If we lack water in our diet, we become dehydrated.